What's up, guys? <laughs> what are you doing? I'm out here at uh, I'm at the skate park. I was just learning some new tricks, actually. I just got um with my boy uh, Top Gun and some of his friends as well. And I was just like learning some new stuff out here. I'm trying to get really good at skating. Like that's one of my uh that's one of my new uh passions. Or one of my old passions actually that I um realized I kind of put on the back end of things when life started getting in the way, so um but I'm not here to talk about skating. You guys know why I'm here. And um <coughs> I'm sick. I've had the flu for the last, like, it feels like the last three weeks. I've been sick for the last three weeks. Had a cold, and my nose just has been running. Pretty frustrating thing to go through. Uh, yeah. But, um, obviously today is, uh, it's a heavy day for, for all of you guys. This is something that it's been, you know, on our minds for a long time, and we wanted to, you know, let you guys know that everything's good, we're all good, um, and I don't even, I don't even really know where to start, to be honest, it's, it, it's not, it's not like it's a sad thing, you know, I, I feel, it's very, it's very sad to, see all the reactions of you guys but at the end of the day um you know we were we were put into this and given an amazing opportunity to to be a part of a group together and unfortunately unfortunately groups you know they they don't always they don't always last and but that's not but that's not the thing with this group the thing with this group is We've just been getting so many opportunities um, individually, like some very great life-changing opportunities that have given us um, so much joy. And it's been hard coming to this decision, but it was something that we had to do for our own happiness, you know? We didn't want to feel like we were being held back and we also wanted to take advantage of these opportunities and in order to take advantage of these opportunities we had to address it with you guys and let you guys know what we were doing um because this isn't the end of in real life this is just this is this is another chapter and it may be a long one but it is it's something that needs to happen for all of us to grow you know we were put into this at at 19 18 um 15, uh, 16, put into a band, and I feel like we were able to grow together, and it's kind of been our college experience, we've learned about the industry, we've learned about each other, we've learned about how to be a great teammate, and, you know, taking all that, now we want to use that to help the world with our unique individual, individual gifts, um, For me, there's been so many opportunities presented to me. Um, opportunities that are outside the group, you know, like doing my own first headlining show, like doing my own radio show in Cincinnati. And after seeing the response of that and just the overwhelming, like, love of, of, of my fans and, and what you guys what you guys do for me, um, it was overwhelming and it was very clear to me that I need to be very invested into this group of people. This group of people means a lot and there's somebody who like understands what I'm doing and, and it's the thing it's what I've always dreamed of, you know. Um, I can't speak for the other guys. Um, I'll let them tell their own stories. But <clears throat> yeah, I've I've I just have so many 
it, it was getting to the point where we were having so many opportunities that were just outside of the band that we were like, okay, well, if we take all of these, then the band isn't going to, it's not really going to just be a band anyways, and I feel like it would just cause a lot of tension and stress, and, and there would be, like, some sort of fight or some sort of um, breakup, you know, but that's not the case. It's like we, we decided to maturely come together and, and decide what was best for us and each of our futures. Um, and I think this is... No one's, no one's really done this besides... You know, um, One Direction being um, being the way they are. Like, I believe that our band has the strongest individual presence of any band in history, and I'm saying that biased, biasedly, because I'm in it. But I believe each of these guys, each of us, are are superstars. I believe that we each have a, a voice and a purpose and an, and an impact. Um, an impact on the world around us that is undeniable, and I think that in order to keep moving forward, we need to, we need to explore that, you know. Um, <coughs> and like I said, that's not to say we won't come back one day. It's just right now, you know, I'm I'm 20 years old. Um, there there was a lot that happened last year with being dropped from our label. Um, with some other situations that came our way that were very unfortunate that we had to go through. We've been through a lot together in this last year. A lot has changed, and I think the fact that we finally had a break um, means, yeah, we want to we wanna take one as well. Um, but... That being said, I mean, I don't want, I don't want you guys to feel like this is a bad thing because it's, it's growth. We're, we're all growing, um, and we're all friends still. So I think that's the most important part is that we, is if we are going to make this decision that, that was the other thing. And, and to be completely honest with you guys, you know, be, being in a band and, and coming together and being signed and doing all the things can, can create a different type of relationship with a person. It's, it became a very much business oriented relationship and that can sometimes interfere with friendship, unfortunately. And I think that above everything, above all the individual opportunities we've got above all of that, we wanted to make this decision so that we could genuinely be friends again and just friends and not, because we, we were all so close on boy band and not to say we weren't close afterwards, but you know, it, it's different when you're not obligated to each other, you know? So, we're still a family. We still love each other, obviously. And, and yeah. I, I don't like how this, this shadow is, like, blocking the, the, the logo of, why well, I can't. <laughs> Alright, cool. That's sick. Um... Yeah, but, and I know I haven't been online recently, and it's just because I've been living a lot of life. A lot of life has happened, and there's a lot to take in. I've, my whole life has changed dramatically um, since you guys last seen me. I haven't even posted about my headlining show because, because I still don't even know really what to say about it. Um, but I feel like, you know, I could probably post about it soon. But a lot has happened in... A lot has happened. Sometimes I, you just have to take the signs from God to to move forward, and you, you just I just I just decided to kind of follow His lead um, to wherever it would take me. And I've been a lot happier recently. I've been I've been extremely happy, aside from being really sick. Um, you guys will be happy to know that I just built my first studio ever. Um, I now I'm going to the gym. I'm now skateboarding. I'm playing basketball again. I'm rapping again. I'm writing. Um, journaling every day. I'm working on a lot of different 
uh, collaborations with brands that have been things that, oh, I'm, I mean, I've been so, I'm, I have so many blessings in my life right now, and it just feels, it just feels right, it feels, it feels so good, and it feels like it's taken so long, but it's been the perfect amount of time. Um, I have a lot that I'm working on right now for you guys, and one of the first things is uh, I'm launching my website soon, and on that website will be really everything related to me. Um, I have, uh, you know, I want to put my videos up there, I want to sell my music on there, I want to make it a, a hub for the fans to go to. I want to put information on there. I want to, I want there to be a newsletter. I want, to, I have all these plans, but I mean, the easiest thing to tell you is that I have um, clothes that I'm working on. You know, the first thing being these hoodies right here. They have a, they have my puzzle logo. And then on the sleeve, it says CMS and that's kind of the first the first drop and when I do this I'm gonna put um, a certain per percent of the proceedings to autism awareness and I think I'm gonna do that with any any item that I use the puzzle logo but I want this store to be something that is helpful I want affordable items quality items that are able to be used as tools for you guys or for inspiration. Um, and on top of that, I'm, I'm making the best music of my life right now. And it feels, feels surreal. It feels really, it feels like it's the right time finally. Um, I have a lot of big plans for the future, for this year. Um, and now that I have the attention of all these people and not just my, you know, usual group, uh, I'm working on my first project, my first real project of work right now that I will be putting out this year. Um, I will be doing more shows. Uh, I don't even know where to start because there's so many things that are just coming my way right now and skater merch yeah I wanna that's that's the other thing is like I wanna I wanna make skate decks I wanna make you know I wanna do collaborations with with great companies to to bring something that's that's useful and, and helpful to you guys um and just first and foremost, my career has never been about me. It's always been about, um, it's always been about the world. And it's been about serving the world. And as of recent, it's been serving God and his kingdom. And because through that, as long as I'm building his kingdom, I will have everything that I need. Um, so if you guys want to follow and grow with me, um, I welcome you with open arms. This is a family. This is a community that um, I want us all to uplift each other and be there for each other and, and help each other out. That's the, biggest, that's the biggest part of all this and this beautiful thing we call music um, is that it brings people together and it unites people, especially in such a divided state of America that we're in right now, I think it's important that the world sees something positive and something positive and something, uh, uh, people need to see light, the media is so dark, there's so much, there's so much darkness being portrayed and and it can you can look outside and feel like you're in such a dark place but 
in the reality there is always light and help will always come to you if you ask for it. Um, and, you know, I'm going to get into all this a lot later, but, but there's, there, there's a lot, there's a lot that's going to be, that's going to be happening with me. And like I said last year, it's kind of a get lost or get with it, but I don't, I don't think that that mentality is where, where I am right now. It, it's, it's more of get, get lost or get with it. It's like, because I don't want anybody to be lost. I want, I want everyone to feel like they have a helping hand, that they have somebody that cares about them. Um, and I, if I can't individually impact each one of you, then I know that um, my fans can do that for me. So on this day, um, today's Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and I believe that today um, we should celebrate what he did uh, for our world. And I believe that there is a lot of what Martin Luther King Jr. did that, that we still need to be doing today. Um, and he, he deserves to be celebrated today. And if I can ask you guys anything is, is to, you know, make a post or even just do some research and, and learn about this man or listen to the I Had a Dream speech. I have a dream. Um, you know, on this day, I, I want... It's a very emotional day, I understand. I understand a lot. You guys are going through a lot of things. And it's kind of scary, I imagine. You know, you guys have supported us for so long and given us given us the platforms that we that we have to now uh to now do it, do what do what we do best to do what we want to do and i i think instead of being sad i think you should be proud of yourselves for everything that you've done for us whether it's listening to our songs coming to our meet and greets coming to our radio events, coming to the radio stations when we only have 30 people in a room listening to us singing Tattoo Acoustic, whether you're coming to a festival, whether you're coming to our first headlining tour or our last, um, you should be proud of yourselves. Whether you couldn't come to anything but you had a fan page and you were posting about us and promoting us and, and meeting the other fans through on through through the internet. That is not gone. That is not gone. For this is some this is not something that we built. This is something that you built. Um and you should be proud of yourselves. You should be proud and this should also be a reason for you all to you know, just give yourselves a pat on the back for all this, because you really, you guys have really changed, changed our lives, to put it simply. Um, it's kind of a vibe right now, I kind of like the whole, the navy and like the, <laughs> I don't know, it's cool. Anyways. I've been off of Instagram and Twitter, aside from posting the art that you guys have made, and I still want to do that indefinitely, and I want to let you guys know that if you guys have made, if you guys tag your tag me um, with your art, whether it's a painting or drawing or dance video or a picture or a video of you skating, a video of you just doing something that you love to do is really the theme of it. If you can do that for me, I will follow you on Twitter. And I may not see it immediately, but if you're persistent, 
I'll find it. Um, yeah, so I want to use my platform to help people. Um, I want to use my platform to help people not rely so much on the internet. Because that's another thing I've learned is life's a lot life's a lot better when when you're paying attention and being on your phone is not not the healthiest thing that you can do for yourself and when I when I say that I mean I mean in a toxic way if you have a toxic relationship with your phone you know how I knew is when my phone started to not become my phone when it was not my phone it was everybody else's phone and I would go on and it would be me answering texts and calls and FaceTimes and making sure everyone else was okay and it stopped becoming a tool that I would use for myself um, so I think that you know you guys can use that to kind of judge where you're at with that uh, man crazy day it's a crazy day um, it's a beautiful day it's a beautiful day and I'm grateful uh, I hope you guys are grateful and I can't wait to see you all soon. Yeah. And also... I'm here for you when you need me. And when I say that, I just mean... When I'm online... Just... I want I want to turn my page into a place that you can go and experience some fulfillment within yourself because a lot of uh a lot of artists kind of run their page in a way that makes you addicted to them and that's not that's not a healthy way to have a relationship with your fans. Um, I want to empower my fans. I want my fans to be bigger than me. I want you guys to accomplish great things. I want you guys to dream big. I want you guys to climb mountains, win the Olympics. I want you to win Grammys and... have super successful clothing brands um that's what i want so if you're a fan of me that just means you're a fan of yourself to quote the great kanye west <laughs> um <laughs> i've have i've been having a lot of fun man i've made a lot of great friends recently and god has been blessing me every single day um with new challenges with new gifts and I just recently found a new community last night after I've, I've been asking for one literally the day before it's 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 insane and I just want to let you all know that you're not alone that there is help if you ask for it always and I'm not the guy that's going to be the preacher and all that, but I do have something to say, and I do have a message, and that's why I'm here. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to do this, um, by that I mean this live stream, so I feel like I kind of touched on everything, but you know, usually I end up doing the full hour. Um, but I kind of want to, I, I kind of want to start skating again, so, thank you guys for everything that you've done for me, um, you, 
you guys have helped me accept who I am, to be confident with who I am in front of the whole entire world. You guys have given me a platform where I can use that confidence to give others strength. You guys have given me a, a new family, a new a new group of people that I can I can rely on and that I know have my back. Um so from the bottom of my heart I love you. I love each and every one of you for the people that you are for for your flaws, for your weaknesses, for your strengths, for your triumphs, for your victories and for your failures. We are all humans. We are all collected here. And we're meant to help each other out. That's what this is about. So, that being said, thank you all. My name is Connor Michael Smith. And until next time.